Well then, now I'm going to talk to you about how the alkenes react. I'm going to show you three reactions. Reaction of ethene with HBr, hydrogen bromide. Reaction of ethene with bromine. And reaction of ethene with sulfuric acid. So reaction with uh, ethene and HBr. Here's the uh, electron-rich double bond. So positive um, chemicals are going to be attracted towards this electron-rich double bond region. And so in this case, it's going to be the delta plus H on the polar bond because uh, there's a, the bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So this is delta plus. This is a delta minus charge. So the curly arrow will move from the hydrogen to the bromine. Remember, that's a movement of a pair of electrons. And then the bond between the H and the bromine will move towards the bromine here. Again, that pair of electrons is moving towards that bromine atom. Now that creates an intermediate. This is incomplete at the moment. So I might positive charge there. That's a carbocation. A carbocation. That should be a positive charge there. So the other product from this reaction was a bromide ion, Br minus. Um, so the Br minus then moves towards the carbon as the negative is att attracted to the car positive carbon, and that creates the product of bromoethane. So this is an electrophile. Um, this is a bromide ion. This is a carbocation. Uh, and this is our product, bromoethane. The second reaction I'm going to talk to you about here is a reaction of ethene with bromine. So uh, this is a non-polar molecule, so why do they react together? Why does this ethene molecule react with bromine? I'll just scroll down here. This will briefly explain to you how it happens. This is electron rich, this double bond again. This has also got lots of electrons around the outside of the bromine atoms. So what happens is when this alkene moves next to the bromine, the electron density around the bromine molecule shifts to one end. So these negative electrons repel the electron density the negative electrons around this bromine molecule. So they start shifting towards this end of the molecule. So this green arrow is showing the new position. So there's less around this, the top bromine here and there's more electron density around the bottom area. This is called an induced dipole. And so this is now going to become delta plus. This is now going to become delta minus. And so the two can now react. So delta plus, delta minus. The electron-rich double bond, so there's a movement of a pair of electrons from the double bond. Arrow touches the bond there, then the bond breaks between the two bromine atoms. This is incomplete. Carbocation, bromide ion now is created and has been created from this stage. That can attack the carbocation and then this creates our product here which is 1, 2, dibromo ethane. Again this is an electrophile. Um, this is called an induced these caps an induced dipole. Uh, so that's how that one occurs. And then finally, again, this is called an electrophilic addition reaction. A reaction of ethene with sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is used as a catalyst to form ethanol. So we start with, again, the movement from the double bond to the H. This is delta plus. 
and this is delta minus on the oxygen. And then the bond breaks between the oxygen and the hydrogen, and then that creates this intermediate, the hydrogen sulfate ion. That can attack the carbon, which again is a carbocation. That creates this intermediate called ethyl hydrogen sulfate. Ethyl hydrogen sulfate. Again, an electrophilic addition reaction with a bit more of a complicated iron, but exactly the same process. And then to turn this intermediate into ethanol, which is used in industry making many, many tons each year, we add water where the O and the H will connect to the carbon and the H here in green will connect with this oxygen there recreating then the sulfuric acid byproduct and that's a catalyst it's been regenerated so it can go back and, and recreate the do the process again over there. So those are the three reactions of, of ethene um, with bromine which is a test for sorry bromine there which is actually a test for uh, an alkene it goes from brown to colourless that there is a reaction with hydrogen bromide and that was the reaction with sulfuric acid in the production of ethanol.